All right, we are back with the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. This is episode at number three, and it is week number three here with the Steelers franchise. And now, the last two weeks have been absolutely atrocious. I mean, you look at our results. We lost, what, 31 to 10 to the Bengals in the first week, then 52 to 10 to Mac Jones and the New England Patriots in week two. That was not good. But here we are, week three, taking on the Cleveland Browns. We've got some things to discuss before we get into this game against Deshaun Watson, or actually, no longer Deshaun Watson. We'll get to that, and the Cleveland Browns. So first off, I gave Kenny Pickett and George Pickens both star development. I think it's much needed, um, and I don't know why they had to make Mitchell Trubisky the starting quarterback again. It's all right. Kenny Pickett will be starting tonight. It's his first start. He is now at, um, of course, star development. He's down to 66 overall because of the morale, which is ridiculous, but... I mean, we got to level him up some way. He's going to be star dev now. And also, of course, George Pickens as well. Pickens is a 74 overall. And yeah, I really like him being the star development as well. Because again, again, both him and Pickett were normal to start the season off. And real quick, folks, before we get started, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more Madden 23 here on the channel. Just helps out the channel a lot. If you just hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like too on the video. And also, go make sure to join the Greer Plays Discord server. So first link down in the description down below to join um, if you want to be involved in the 32 team online franchise. Just join the Discord link down below. And then also, go make sure to follow us on the socials, Group Plays by T on both IG and on TikTok as well. You can follow me on Twitter, but I don't really tweet. But it's all right. Um, so yeah, Pickens is going to be star development. And we made some free agency signings. So the first one being, you might have already seen it, or he Mostert. So I signed Raheem Mostert just because in the last game, of course, Najee Harris got injured before the game. There's nothing that we could do, and we were forced to play with McFarlane and Snell. And I think I called uh, McFarlane Antoine McFarlane. His name's Anthony, I do believe. Yes, Anthony McFarlane. So... Uh, yeah, I didn't want to get stuck in that situation again. Benny Snell is not bad, but I really like, I would rather have Mostert than Benny Snell, obviously. So we signed Mostert to the team. It's only a one-year deal worth $2 million. And same can be said about Scotty Miller. Now, Miller was released by the Patriots in free agency, or in, sorry, he was released to free agency in the preseason. He's only 25 years old. And of course, you know Miller's got speed. I mean, there was a debate at one point in time, I mean, who's faster, Tyree Kill or Scotty Miller? Now, his player model looks ridiculous, but he's a 94 speed receiver, 73 overall. And again, a guy who's only 25 years old can really benefit this team and he can burn guys over the top and hell like i rather have him out there than anthony miller so he will be our fourth receiver and, and again when we're in need of a big play we can just have kenny pick throw over the top and there you go scotty miller can just burn some corner deep especially hopefully he gets a slow corner on him so there's a reason i did that more than just getting scotty miller because we're gonna have to cut some guys for that in a second but we have to negotiate contracts of course with our upcoming free agents the big one being deontay johnson deontay johnson has zero interest in resigning with us now is it because the income state income tax in pennsylvania i don't live in pennsylvania i'm assuming there's state income tax i think there is um but you know all those factors now in madden is it because the steelers aren't very good is it because he doesn't want to be here i don't know but it's looking like we're not going to be able to re-sign it, Deontay Johnson. So when you think about that, our superstar, you know, dev trade receiver, should we trade him? I mean, I, you know, I want to hear your input in the comment section down below. Should we trade Deontay Johnson or not? Considering if he doesn't want to re-sign with the team, we might as well get something out of him right now at the deadline. And considering maybe if we're not going to be a team that's going to be looking to make the playoffs or at least contending for a Super Bowl this season, then do we get rid of Deontay Johnson and we just, you know, try to pick up assets elsewhere? So that's something to, uh, of course look forward to and maybe just have to decide in the next upcoming videos um but again with us re-signing or signing moster and scotty miller we have to cut some guys um okay so i think we're gonna tr cut trey norwood he's our third string free safety and i don't think there's really a spot for him on this team and then you look at steven sims sims is 25 i'd rather have olszewski because olszewski is our kick actually uh but like okay sims is faster than him but olszewski's a guy that we use in our special team system a lot he's like a matthew slater type of course coming from that patriot system over there in new england i'm gonna cut steven sims we'll save some money and i don't think sims is gonna do much so scotty miller will take his spot on the team so those are the moves we have to make before playing the browns and finally i just need to update you guys on what we're doing with deshaun watson now watson currently in real life is suspended for six games will he likely get a full season probably but at least for now in real life it's only a six game suspension so for now just for one game because i don't know if you know in real life what's going to happen with deshaun watson but all i know is that deshaun watson no matter what will not be playing the pittsburgh steelers in week number three so just for this one game i just made uh watson's th throw power zero so he won't be the starting quarterback this week instead it will be the former patriot colt i think he's in the dolphins yeah he's in the dolphins last year too and jacoby Brissett. so Brissett will be starting josh rosen's the backup then you got josh dobbs as a third string quarterback so we will have um Brissett playing for the cleveland Browns 
rounds and hopefully we can win the ball game so let's get into it folks we're gonna turn off the face cam get locked in and hopefully we can finally pick up our first win on thursday night football in a short week against the cleveland browns actually first wait hold on i need to check out this cut scene because we have to discuss how we're going to prepare for playing on thursday night football let's see it what are we going to see here is gonna be mike tomlin i'm assuming okay oh um that's awkward you ain't the starting quarterback anymore, Mitch. Uh, why is he wearing red undersleeves? Uh, uh, okay, so I think Tomlin's telling him to keep the turnovers limited. The problem is Mitchell Trubisky has zero touchdown passes and seven interceptions. He has a reason he's not the starting quarterback anymore. Beat the Browns and commit one or fewer turnovers. That could happen. If Kenny Pickett has a good game, that can happen. And I think, yeah, if I can limit myself to one interception, I'll be pretty happy. So again, Mitchell Trubisky is not going to be involved in the offense. At least hopefully he's not because if he is, then that means Kenny's got hurt. So, or he's playing really bad. So let's get it going, folks. Thursday night football, Steelers and Browns. Let's try to win our first game here of the 2022 NFL regular season. So it is officially Kenny Pickett's team on a short week in Cleveland, Ohio. We've got the 0-2 Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the 2-0 Cleveland Browns. And it kind of feels like a must-win game from the Steelers, at least to the point of where this team's going for the rest of the season. We know next week we will be taking on the New York Jets, but you really want to go in that Jets game at one and two, and it's a key divisional matchup again with the Cleveland Browns. Obviously, we said in the open, no Deshaun Watson here tonight for the Cleveland Browns. Instead, they will be starting Jacoby Brissett, and of course, no more Mitchell Trubisky for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Instead, it will be the rookie quarterback out of Pittsburgh, Kenny pick it it should be a good one here tonight as there is Jacoby I know his stats are gonna be messed up because technically I didn't change him to be the starter until right now so this is technically in game his first start for this Browns squad and if you're the Steelers man you're gonna have to try to limit what Nick Chubb can do out the backfield for the Browns tonight I mean you look at last week's matchup where we got blown out by the New England Patriots let's not talk about it but we lost 52 to 10 we lost by 42 points and in that ball game Mac Jones just completely shredded our defense alive but also it was the running efforts out of Damian Harris that really hurt us as well. So you're gonna have Jacoby in at quarterback, which honestly I'm not too concerned about, but then Nick Chubb out the backfield with his X factor and with his trucking ability, that gets kind of scary. So here you go, the Browns get it first from their own 25 yard line. Brissett looking to throw it over the middle. He has got his receiver. It will be Donovan Peoples-Jones and he's gonna get him all the way down to the 40 yard line. It is a gain of 15 right off the bat for this Browns offense. First and 10 for Jacoby. Handoff, it is going to Nick Chubb. And oh, Chubb's gonna lose the football. It's knocked out by Joseph and Devin Bush picks it up and the Pittsburgh Steelers will take over from the 41. So they've already started better off in this game than they did against Damian Harris and the Patriots forcing a fumble off the hands of Nick Chubb and that will be a 32 for this Pittsburgh offense from the 33 yard line. Pick it to his right. Ball is completed to Pat Fryermuth. Fry move down the 28 yard line makes it a now third and nine from the 27 pick it rolling to his left he's got no time and down he goes on the sack it's Chase Winovich the former Michigan Wolverine brings down Kenny and will settle for a 51 yarder from Chris Boswell which will sneak through the Steelers go up three nothing thanks to that Boswell field goal so the Browns get it back to their own 25 yard line first and 10 for Jacoby letting one fly deep downfield oh my goodness Amari Cooper goes up in one-on-one -on -one coverage and makes the snag over Sutton. And now the Browns have got it from the 26-yard line, third and four for Brissett. Ball's picked off. Sutton's going to get it right back. Brissett was looking for Nick Chubb. Sutton to the 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Chubb chasing him. He's in. Touchdown for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It is a pick six off of Jacoby Brissett. And the defense puts us up 10-0 here in the first quarter. So the Browns get the football back. And oh, here comes Nick Chubb. He'll shake off Miles Jack. And Chubb will find his way all the way down to the 38-yard line. It will be a gain of 13 for him. Second and 10 for the Browns offense. Dropping back is Brissett to his right look. And, and what a grab and what a throw. Donovan Peoples-Jones remaining on his feet down to the Pittsburgh 43-yard line, making now a second and eight for the Browns offense. Brissett dropping back, looking to throw to his right ball is caught. It is Amari Cooper. Cooper to the outside, it gets him down to the 27. Now a second and nine for the Browns offense. Brissett dropping back, looking to throw over the middle. Ball is caught once more. This time it will be Jakeem Grant. So Grant down to the seven yard line. It makes it a first and goal for the Browns offense. Handoff It's the backup running back, Jerome Ford. The rookie out of Cincinnati's gonna get in. Oh my goodness, Ford looking like Nick Chubb on that run. 
10 to seven is now our score as the Browns drive right down the field and get those seven points right back. So the Steelers offense back on the field from their own 20 yard line, giving the ball to Najee Harris, letting Najee work. He's gonna get him all the way down to the 41 yard line at first and 10 for the Steelers. Again, Najee on the carry, good gain right there of about nine, getting us to midfield, second and two, handoff back to Harris. Uh, another first down for our guy in Najee Harris. We'll go to the second quarter, 10-7 is the score for the Steelers and they are driving once more. So the Steelers kick off the second quarter from the 45 yard line. I mean, if the ground game's been working, why go away from it? Oh my goodness, Najee Harris, breaking it to the outside. Big gain down the 18 yard line. Seven carries, 63 yards for Harris. And now first and 10, I mean, again, keep going back to him. Najee gonna truck his way down for a gain of five. Now a second and four for Pickett, empty gun. Look over the middle, he's got his tight end, Zach Gentry. Gentry's first catch with Pittsburgh this season and the man out of Michigan's end. Gentry makes it 17 to seven on the seam route as Cleveland will get the football back from their own 24 yard line. There's a dump off pass to the left. And it'll be a first down for Jacoby Brissett going to his tight end. Now though, a third and 10 for Jacoby out the gun, looking to throw to his right. He has got his man. It will be David Njoku, but Njoku short of the first down marker and Pittsburgh will force now a Cleveland punt as we'll get the football back from the 32. Up by 10, looking for more. Kenny Pickett gonna dump it off to Najee Harris. Harris to the outside will find his way down to the 41 yard line. Second and one will go back to the run game and there goes Harris. I mean, I'm trying not to run this guy into the ground this season, but Najee Harris already 11 carries for 91 yards will get us over midfield and again we'll go right back to it Harris in the ground inside zone another first down as Najee Harris takes us down to the 24 yard line 12 carries 111 yards for our starting running back now we go back to the pass game there is George Pickens over the middle Pickens will pick up nine and now a third and one you go back to the ground Harris it keeps on working the Browns do not have an answer to the run game of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the main reason that, of course, is Najee Harris. First and 10, we go back to the air. Pickett looking to throw. He'll stuff up in the pocket. Can he pick it? It will slide down at the two, making it a second and two. We go to the ground game again. Harris will be short, but he picks up the first down. So we go to a first and goal. Harris up the middle. Got it. Najee Harris makes it 24-7. The Pittsburgh Steelers dominating early here on the road on prime time. It's been the Najee Harris show tonight in Cleveland, Ohio, but the Browns gonna try to pick up some more points before the end of the half. And right there, the Browns will connect on a swing route to the outside to Nick Chubb. Chubb down the 44 yard line makes it a first and 10 at 90 seconds to go in the half. Cleveland with all three timeouts and over the top, there goes Donovan Peoples-Jones. Jones down the 21 yard line makes it a third and five, but 50 seconds to go. Brissett looking, he's got all day in the pocket, no pressure from the Steelers, and he'll find his receiver, it's Jakeem Grant Sr. Grant's got the first down of the 13 yard line. It will be a first and 10 from the 13, but 18 seconds to go. One timeout for Cleveland, Brissett to his right will find Njoku, and Njoku's gonna spin his way in the end zone. It looked like he was stepping out of bounds, but Njoku stays in and he gets in for six. So the Cleveland Browns score a very timely touchdown at the end of the first half. It is a 10 point game, 24 to 14 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, man. Hey, we got a half left. Maybe we can win our first football game of the season. Third and three, Chase Claypool over the middle. Or my guys, we like to refer to him as Clace Chaypool. It's a first down to the 40 yard line. First and 10 play action fake for Pickett. Looking to throw, he has got Najee Harris out the backfield. Look at the juke, look at the moves. Najee Harris down to the 46, third and eight for Pickett. Looking to get rid of the football to his right. He's got George Pickens and Pickens will drop it. So from the 46, the Steelers will be forced to punt it back to the Cleveland Browns. So we've got the tank of a human being and Presley Harvin. And oh, I think the Browns just ran into him. Or actually, it'll be a roughing the kicker. Running in the kicker's a five-yard penalty. Roughing the kicker's automatic first down and 15 yards. And it will be roughing the kicker. So move the chains for the Steelers. This drive stays alive. It's Owasu on the penalty. So a third and seven will find Najee Harris again. Harris down the 10 yard line. It's a first and 10 opportunity for Pittsburgh. And now we will go back to Najee on the ground. Harris down to about the two yard line. 139 rushing yards for him. And here comes Raheem Mostert, his first carry as a stealer. He's going backwards. Raheem Mostert loses two yards. It's now third and four for Kenny, looking to get rid of the football. Oh, he's swallowed immediately. 
Owasu Karmoa gonna pick up the sack. I guess he'll make up for the penalty earlier, but actually no, we're gonna gain three points from it. So 27-14 is now our score with four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Here comes Jacoby Brissett back with the football. It'll be a third and six for Cleveland. He's in the pocket to his left, ball's incomplete. Wow. Pressure gets to him, TJ Watt helping out right there. And the Steelers will get the football back from the 27. Empty gun look for Kenny Pickett. Over the middle, Deontay Johnson. His time as a Steeler may be coming to an end. They'll pick up the first down. Now we're facing them with the third and 17. We'll just dump it off to Najee Harris on the angle route. Najee only gonna pick up 13 yards. It won't be enough for the first down. So Pickett just got 100 yards in this game. But Cleveland will get the football back from their own 18 yard line. Jacoby Brissett in the pocket. Looking to throw, he's got all day. But here comes TJ Watt. Watt's first sack of the season. Drops Jacoby all the way back to the five yard line. It's a third and 22 now for the Cleveland Browns offense as we're now in the fourth quarter. Brissett, oh my goodness, over the top. He had a man. But Njoku's out of bounds. So the Steelers are gonna get the football back from the 37. Third and four will move the sticks. Najee Harris out the backfield will get us down to the 23 yard line. It is a gain of 14 right there for Pittsburgh. And now a first and 10, play action fake for Kenny. Looking to throw the football to his right, pick it. Going for Friar Muth, it's picked off. Oh, I thought we had Pat Friar Muth right there. Instead, Denzel Ward on the interception. And the Browns now have life here on Thursday Night Football. Cleveland's got it from their own 25 yard line. They've got to hurry up. Nick Chubb in the handoff. There's a start. Make up Fitzpatrick's going to get ran over. But Chubb will step out of bounds at the Pittsburgh 49 yard line. It's now a first and 10 for the Cleveland offense. Brissett looking to throw. He's got all day, but maybe it's coming to the end. Oh, there we go. TJ Watt once more. Two sacks in the day for the defensive player of the year. And now it's a third and 12 for Cleveland from their own 49. Brissett looking to throw to his right. He'll dump it off to Nick Chubb. We got to make the tackle. Witherspoon can't. Devin Bush will bring him to the ground. It's a fourth and one from the 40. Game on the line right here. Jacoby off the gun. They hand it off to the backup running back. And that's not even Jerome Ford. It's Felton. Felton picks up the first down. First and 10 for the Browns again. Nick Chubb to the outside. He'll find his way past the first down marker. But time's a ticking for the Browns. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go on a third and five. Handoff back to Felton, and Felton will be short of the first down marker. So it's a fourth and one from the five. Cleveland, of course, going for it. In the game again is Nick Chubb, and Chubb's gonna get in the end zone. So the Cleveland Browns have made this now a six point game with two minutes to go. It's all based now if the Steelers can pick up two first downs and win this game. Right there though, Najee Harris only picking up four yards. So a third and six. Pickett's gotta find a way to get this one. Look it over the top. Oh, what a grab by George Pickens. You're watching the future of the Steelers right here, right now. Miles Garrett gets injured, but the Steelers are a first down away from winning their first game on the season. It will be a third and seven, a minute to go. Najee on the handoff, he's got the first down. And the Pittsburgh Steelers go on the road to Cleveland and they take down the Browns on Thursday Night Football. 179 rushing yards for Najee Harris is enough for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And by the way, over 31 carries too. But the Pittsburgh Steelers pick up the W here on the road in Cleveland. They are victorious by a score of 27 to 21. And Kenny Pickett, the first round draft pick and the rookie out of Pittsburgh is 1-0 as a starting quarterback here in the NFL. And he'll try to make it 2-0 next week as we return home to Pittsburgh to take on the New York Jets. But we'll celebrate here tonight. The Steelers are 1-2 with a victory on the road against the Browns. Now, did it take for us to play their backup quarterback and, you know, for us to barely scrape out here with the victory and Kenny Pickett only throwing 127 yards? Yeah, maybe, but a win's a win in the NFL. They are hard to come by. And the Steelers were honestly in control the entire way through. So we'll try to make it 2-2 two two tomorrow night when we take on the New York Jets and the dog in Zach Wilson. So, folks, thank y'all for watching episode number three of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. If you have not yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for us more Madden here on the channel. Go check out the Face the Franchise video we posted earlier today as well. Make sure you join the Discord server, of course, as well. It is the first link down in the description down below. So, folks, thank y'all for watching, and Mamba forever.